Today we are going to review a Chinese movie called, Shadow. In the aughts, Zhang Yimou made two brilliant films, Hero, House of Daggers, and a third less brilliant one, Curse of the Golden Flower, that mixed royal intrigue with amazingly filmed martial arts battles. He's given us some brilliant, and not so brilliant films, since, but he hasn't returned to this particular style until the brilliant shadow, which both is and isn't a return to the earlier film style. The convoluted story involves the sneaky king, his sister, his scheming brother, his brother's wife, and his pretend brother, who is the protagonist, as they prepare for a battle to win back territory from a rival kingdom. The movie is stunningly filmed but very different from Yimu's earlier wuxia, apparently what this genre is called, films. Rather than vivid colors, everything is so muted that I think of it as a black and white film even though it's not. The filming is cleverly used to reinforce the shadow theme, there are shadows on walls, shadows on translucent screens, some action is seen mainly in shadow, and all these connects with the motifs of doubles and shadowy intentions that fill the plot. The acting is terrific. The two women are affecting and, in the case of the sister, very intense. The king is giggly and mercurial and fascinating like a snake. The protagonist is rather generic as the double but intense as the brother. It's dramatically very intense and at times shocking. The action is terrific, much of it fueled by this crazy umbrella fighting. I'd still say Hero contains Yimu's best action sequences, but these are amazing. Also a special shout out to the crazy, intense music played by characters in the movie. It's nothing like what I'm used to from Japanese traditional music in movies, and makes me wonder if that sort of intensity existed at the time and just never shows up in movies or whether they're playing with traditions. Yimu has made so many terrific films in so many genres, but he does this wuxia thing so well, and I'm so happy he decided to return to it now that he's found another approach. It is the work of a master filmmaker at the height of his craft, even though it's serious look, dramatic moments, and complex themes don't really mesh with a slightly ludicrous finale. I don't know if he'll ever trod this path again, but I am very happy he gave the world this present. Watch it. Thanks you. If you like my review so share it like it and do comments.